G'day and welcome to a quick video about speed loaders in 22 revolvers. Now, I've got this uh, high standard High Sierra 22 revolver. Um, these are nine shot, single and double action. They're actually, even though they look like a, uh, a single action army type of a revolver with this uh, thing here, um, they're not, they're actually just a double action revolver. They're actually derived from uh, the high standard Sentinel revolvers. Now, I shoot this revolver in military uh, combined services match where you use rifle and pistol in trainer matches. So you can use a 22 handgun. Uh, it doesn't actually have to be an issued military handgun, it could be any 22 handgun. Uh, and you have to actually fired 12 shots in most of the most of the events so uh, which involves a reload so it's a bit fiddly reloading 22 um, cartridges individually uh, when you've got timed events so I wondered if you could get a a speed loader for this so I did a bit of internet research and the only real nine shot 22 speed loader I could find was um, this one's a H and K nine shot speed loader now the model of this one is called the 22 hr because it's specifically designed for harrington and richardson nine shot revolvers um, so if you look at it uh, on here they list it for a harrington and richardson nine shot and a taurus 94 which is obviously also a taurus nine shot 22. so i kind of thought well you know it may or may not fit but it probably will because um, because it's a nine shot revolver so you know, the cylinders are all going to be similar um, there's also always the possibility that grip can actually get in the way so anyway, I thought I'd give it a go I bought one of them um, so anyway let's try it so we'll just load her up two three Oop. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then you just click it sideways. So that's actually clicked a little thing in place over the rim. So there we go. So you could carry it, carry that in your pocket or in a little speed loader holder or whatever. Open the cylinder up. Let's have a look. So actually, let's just work out which way. So, so I've got to turn it clockwise to unlock it. All right, so there's the speed loader there, locked up. Okay, let's just have a look. So there we go, we've got nine cylinders. I'm just doing this looking through the camera, so it's a bit more difficult than if I was just looking. There we go. Okay, so that works fine. All right, so... Uh, what we might do now is take them all out again. One thing I note with this, like I'm used to uh, 357 um, speed loaders where you've got a reasonably heavy um, bullet there. So as soon as you kind of unlock it, um, a 357 one, they'll tend to fall in. You can see with this one, you've got two problems. One is as you're trying to pull it back out of the way, um, your speed loader is getting caught a bit on the grip here. And the other one is um, because of, see that one there nearest the frame, one of them is tending to get caught on the frame. But saying that, I mean, I think it's just a matter of making sure they're, they're downwards. So yeah, so I think it'll just be a matter of, you can see they line up, there's nothing wrong with the lining up. One problem is that you can't really go any further than that easily because the actual lat the cylinder latch at the back of the cylinder in, in the middle of the extractor is actually hitting that little that little aluminium nub on the inside of the thing. So that's that's limiting the amount the rounds go in. It would be better if you could get the rounds to go in further before you start so at least the actual projectiles are inside and their weight is tending to pull the thing in but another trick is you see this um, little latch is actually spring loaded 
So when you push the cartridges in, you can see that the projectile is going a little way. You can actually push it a lot further before you turn it. And then the, the weight of the bullets is already further into the cartridge. So that seems to make a difference as well. I think it's going to be a matter of making sure it's straight down. See, and the only one, the only one that's getting caught is that one that's up, up against the frame. So as you saw what I did there, then I just turned it. So it's probably going to be a matter of just getting used to how to do it. Put it in, make sure the revolver is pointing straight down so you're getting maximum gravity, or well, down as close as possible. And then if that one's closed, just using your, your thumb to turn the cylinder of the slot and that'll let it go in and then it should then close. So, load it up again. All right, so let's make sure it's actually really straight up and down this time. Put it in, turn it, and actually with just a little bit of a wiggle that actually went in. So yeah, so just, it's good to practice. Now the other thing, if you're shooting 12 shot, you know, you've got to fire 12 shots. Um, it means that, I'll get another one of these, now that I know that they fit. Um, it means that there's probably not a lot of point of doing like two sixes, because then you've always got to inject the cylinder on the right, um, on the right chamber before you start, which is just another thing you have to think about. Whereas if you've got a full cylinder, it'd be nice to just be able to close it and shoot. So what I will probably do, I think, when I get another one, is load three in at a time, uh, three in for the first lot, when you're not sort of quite so rushed. Now, remembering that high standards actually turn anti-clockwise, so what we would do is we would start like that, and we close the cylinder up, so that that top in empty chamber ends up on the top. Now, I'm not going to do any move because I've got live rounds here. Um, because if you think about it, like say say that that's the top one and we've got three rounds here. If I bring that out to the top, then it's going to cock it and the next one's going to be on the first live round. Like that. So yeah, that should be quite good. So uh, I'll just have two speed loaders ready, one with three, one with nine. Quickly load the three in, fire those, it's easy to count three, bang, bang, bang. And then I can chuck the three out and then load another nine and then head off again. Okay, let's go. Okay, I dropped the round. So let's try that again. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. Okay, so I don't know how many seconds that was, but it was reasonably quickly. All right, let's do a bit of a speed load. There we go, so that was reasonably quickly. It was only probably a few seconds. All right, so I'm back again. Uh, now I didn't mention this is actually a dual cylinder revolver, so I've actually just put the 22 Magnum cylinder into it. So let's give it a go for the 22 Magnums. They'd probably be a lot, I, oh, it's not gonna work with 22 Magnums because this, the rims are bigger. So there you go, that's interesting. Now, Interesting to know whether you could actually, whether the, um, whether it would work to actually, you could possibly modify this for 22 Magnums. Just drill them out slightly, drill the cylinders out slightly. Um, but I'm not sure, but I, anyway. Uh, I rarely use 22 Magnum, I just thought I'd do it for, uh, um, for the interest sake. So, uh, so that's about it for, for this uh, short video. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe to my channel, push like, and until next time, 
Thanks for watching.